Yeah, we can. Try, test God, man. Trust God in this. There's other options, man. We're here to. Uh, we can adopt your baby. Let's help, ma'am. Ma'am, you have plenty of help out here. You just have to accept it. Grandma, why are you pumping your arm in the air? You don't you don't want your grandchild dead, do you? Your grandchild is a blessing from God, ma'am. God didn't make a mistake here. God didn't make a mistake here, ma'am. Ma'am, let us help. That's your grandchild. Let us help. You know, but you know this isn't but you drove her here, right? She's going to bring a paper, paper and don't trade. sign it. Yeah, just don't sign the paper. She can't have it unless you sign it. Don't sign it. You can save your grandchild, ma'am. But ma'am, that's your grandchild. Well, you are. But ma'am, your grandchild needs you. Help her. Pray. Go to your car right now and pray for her. No, it's not us, it's God that you're disagreeing yes, with. It's between her and God. Not God and God, but her and God. Ma'am, you're something that she's gonna have to love you for the Lord when her time comes and she gonna have to deal with you. But by you signing that paper, you're already helping her. Yeah, don't don't sign the paper, ma'am. Love That's your grandchild. Ma'am, are you are you a Christian? Ma'am, we're not casting stones. We're not casting stones, ma'am. We're not throwing stones, ma'am. We're just here to help you, Jesus. Do you? God loves you. God loves her. And the baby that's coming. Do you profess to be a Christian, ma'am? Then you know what God says about this. That's your grandchild's a blessing, ma'am. You can get her out. You can get her out, ma'am. Let us help. Please let us help. Can we pray with you? Ma'am, you drove you drove her here. You drove your daughter here. I can pray with you. We can pray with you. Ma'am, you can get your daughter out. You can love your grandbaby. That's your grandchild in there, ma'am. You can still, you can still rescue your grandchild, ma'am. Don't let your daughter murder your grandchild, ma'am. That's your grandbaby, and your grandbaby needs you, Grandma. Your grand, your grandbaby needs Grandma. Don't do this, ma'am. Let us help. Let us help, ma'am. Don't let your grand, don't let your daughter murder your grandchild, ma'am. You'll never, you'll never get over this, ma'am, if you let your daughter do this. You may have, you're indicating that you didn't, you didn't want her to do this, but you drove her here, ma'am. You drove her here. You walked her to the door. So you are complicit, ma'am. You need to know that. You are complicit. If your daughter goes through with this, if you sign that paper, you are complicit in the murder of your grandchild. You need to know that. That's something hard to hear, but it's true. If you sign that paper, you are complicit in the murder of your grandchild. You'll have the blood of your own grandbaby, your grandson or your granddaughter on your hands. I assume you profess to be a Christian by how you were talking. Ma'am, what you're doing here, God hates this. God hates the hands that shed innocent blood, ma'am. The sixth commandment of the law of God says you shall not murder. And ma'am, you're going against that. Yeah, you may not like what your daughter's doing, but you're helping her to do it. You didn't have to drive her here. You didn't have to, you didn't have to come with her. You didn't have to walk her to the door. 
And we are pleading with you, ma'am, don't sign that paper. If you don't sign that paper, she cannot murder her child, from my understanding. But if you sign that paper, you are literally signing the death warrant for your grandchild, your little grandbaby. Don't do that, ma'am. Please come talk to us. Let us help. Go go in there and get your, your daughter out, ma'am. Go in there and get her out. Whatever help she needs, we'll help. If she needs financial help, if she needs help with babysitting, help with grocery bills, whatever help she needs, we're here to help. Please let us help, ma'am. The Bible says to trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. Ma'am, neither you or your daughter are trusting in the Lord this morning. You're trusting in your own understanding. You're leaning on your own understanding. You're not acknowledging God in all your ways. And you're not departing from evil. And you are wise in your own eyes. But the Lord has Christians out here to help you. To help you. To help you and your daughter to love that baby. To love your grandbaby, ma'am. It's not too late to love your grandbaby, ma'am. Don't, when your daughter brings that form out to you, do not sign it. If you truly love your daughter, if you truly love your grandbaby, you will not sign that paper. But if you hate your daughter, if you hate your grandchild, you will sign it. Ma'am, if you fear the Lord, get your daughter out of this place right now. If you need help, come talk to us. Let us help you. Come test us. See, see that we'll put our money worth it where our mouth is, that we'll help you. Come test us. We're not just saying these things, we'll help you. The Lord has many Christians out here to help you, ma'am. You got anything for her? What's that? Yeah. Ma'am, your grandchild, is, your grandbaby is made in the image of God. Think about that. The image of God is going to be murdered, is going to be defiled, desecrated, destroyed if you don't do the right thing and get your daughter out of here. Man, we're pleading with you not to do this wicked thing. This is so evil. What's happening here? What's going to happen to your grandbaby if you let it? This is so evil, so heinous, so abominable, so unspeakably evil. It did not enter the heart of God. It says that God says that in Jeremiah, the book of Jeremiah. This did not enter the heart of God. That's how evil this is. Child sacrifice. And your, grand, your grandbaby is about to be sacrificed on the altar of convenience, on the altar of selfishness, if you let, a, if you let that happen.